Hello everybody, and this is uh, Aesop Dolphin here again today, and today we will be talking about The Sims 4. Well, more more so, we'll be reviewing The Sims 4. Uh, so yeah, The Sims 4 is a popular life simulation game that offers players the opportunity to create and control virtual characters, known as Sims. Uh, while it has its strengths, the game also has some notable shortcomings. One of the positive aspects of The Sims 4 is its intuitive and user-friendly interface. It is quite an easy game of pick up and play, uh, which makes it easy for players to navigate and interact with the game world. The character creation tool is very robust, allowing for detailed customizations uh, and personalizations of sims and appearances and personalities. The build mode provides a wide range of options for constructing and designing homes, and the addition of expansion packs introduces new features and gameplay elements. However, The Sims 4 has received criticism since launch for several reasons. The base game launched with fewer features and content compared to its predecessor, The Sims 3, and even The Sims 2, leading to a sense of regression for longtime fans. And, you know, many features that were present in previous iterations, such as toddlers and swimming pools, were absent from the initial, initial release and only added later as paid content. The game's open world aspect was also significantly reduced, with neighborhoods being divided into separate loading screens. Additionally, some players feel that the game lacks depth, depth and variety in its gameplay. The Sims 4 focuses heavily on social interactions and emotions, which can lead to repetitive and predictable gameplay patterns. But I, I still enjoy it. The artificial intelligence of the Sims uh, themselves can be frustrating, simplistic, even if it still is fun, often making them act in nonsensical or illogical ways. The limited number of career paths and the lack of diverse hobbies and activities can also make the gameplay feel repetitive and lacking in long-term engagement. However, with that being said, I still have over 100 hours on The Sims 4, and I know my sister has probably over 400 at this point on The Sims 4. Overall, The Sims 4 offers an enjoyable and accessible experience for players who appreciate the creative aspects of life simulation games. However, it does fall short in terms of content, depth, and innovative comp innovation compared to its predecessors. To fully enjoy the game, players often rely on purchasing additional expansion packs, which can be costly, about $40 each, unless if you find a month's sale. Um, while The Sims 4 has its merits, it may not fully satisfy those seeking a more immersive and expansive simulation experience. I would probably recommend Sims 2 or Sims 3 still. Um, hopefully Sims 5, hopefully Sims 5 uh, fixes that, you know. But hey, thank you for watching this video. My name is Aesop Dolphin, and if you liked it, please leave a like.